check this out the combi apparently they have their own ale here i said to katie the combi ale they should call it the quail <laughs> yeah you could just have a quail thanks love i'll i'll try it i'll see what she says and then you dip it in so dad can you demonstrate it and then here comes the barramundi <laughs> Uh, yeah. And it is like a and cannon. And it goes like everywhere. <laughs> it's so funny. Good afternoon or good morning? <laughs> I think it's good afternoon. Good afternoon. Moon. Good afternoon. Ah, I get it. Yes. Okay, Mary Kathleen, the home of uranium and cows. I love the Mary Kathleen cows. <laughs> they are so cute and inquisitive. And they don't they have the most distinct moves? Like what? you could pick a Mary Kathleen cow anywhere now, right? And I know why. It's because they're radioactive. <laughs> it's because it's because of the uranium. I tell you now, McDonald's in a few years is gonna have some problems with their burger claims. Wow. Burgers from uh, Mary Kathleen. That's my guess, anyway. Righto. Okay, moving on. We love it here. We've camped here for the best part of a week because our plans changed. We were heading to Catherine. Mm. And then we are doing a detour now, and yeah. we're actually... There was a couple of experiences that we were going to do that, very unfortunately, were cancelled. Mm. And so that changed, I guess, the pace we were moving. Yes, yeah, um, which is actually so much nicer that we've had the opportunity yeah. to just pull up stumps i was packing up today i just love it here i could easily stay here longer it De is just definitely. such a beautiful spot it is actually radioactive i'm not joking about that i, just, I had some yeah. uh neighbors uh dr andrew actually tell me that uh yeah no there's there's uh, small amounts that maybe aren't going to uh affect your health yeah right but there you go Okay. Okay. So, so Mary out. Kathleen in small doses then. That's maybe. why the cows move funny. But one of those experiences that actually um, unfortunately got canned was a hot air balloon uh, out of Burktown. Mm, and yeah. um, very sadly, there, there was uh, a problem for the family back down south, um, not related to balloons, obviously, but that they had to uh, pack up for the season and, and pretty well exit very quickly. So all of us and their family, I hope everything's okay. Yeah. Um, it is the first Aboriginal-led tourism product like this. And so we were very excited to share that, yeah. but we will be back. We promise we'll come and do a special on Burktown. But for now, we decided, well, let's just take a breather. We'll head to Hikurumba. Yes, yeehaw. Paul's favourite place we've never been. It is. It's so true. And I've got a fishing charter sorted out. Mm. Uh, I, I am praying that I'm going to be able to hook and cook, I'm going to call it, a Spanish mackerel. It is one of the most delicious tasting fish. Uh, as I speak, I'm going to put the other GoPro on because uh, oh, luckily we've pulled up because ears, here comes you? all of the uh, radioactive cows. Look at them. Just see, if we can get them, see if we can get them. <laughs> That's right. All right, time for us to hit the road. Short drive day. Uh, we were going to head to Burke and Will's Roadhouse, mm. uh, but we'll actually do that tomorrow, I think. So tonight we're just going to go back through Cloncurry. Don't be in a hurry when you go to Cloncurry. Fill up with water. Get a few supplies. I've got plenty of fuel, actually. Maybe just top up. Mm. Okay. And then we'll be on to... Gim... Quamby. Quamby. The little Quamby pub. The reviews on Wikicamp for this place... Are just awesome. Love so, it. So, yeah, it should be great. I reckon. Pub meal. All right, let's do it. Oof. I know I'm melting. <laughs> that one's piggybacking the other one, Jasper. <laughs> piggyback cows. Tell you what, radioactive piggyback cows.
How good is this, Cloncurry? Is that the biggest windmill you've seen in your life? We actually went to this place called Penong down in South Australia, the border with WA, somewhere near there. I think it was actually once we were across the Nullarbor and they have the largest windmill in Australia. I'm not convinced now, that looks massive, look at it. Anyway, we've stopped here in Cloncurry. We're gonna uh, do a little bit of uh, food shopping, bit of supplies, obviously fill two tanks up with water, which is the drinking tank and also tank one. We'll leave tank two empty because we're, we're literally gonna overnight tonight and then we'll be into Karumba tomorrow. So we won't even use that much water, but it does actually help settle the van down when I am towing. All right, that's it. We'll see you, I think, Quamby at the pub for a pub meal. Can't wait. Love it when you don't have to unhitch. Thank you, Treads, for that, because we just run those rear tires up, and boom, we're good. Got the Starlink sorted, do a bit of work when we get home. Yeah. This is gonna be an absolute ripper of a sunset. What do you think of the pub? You've been in, we haven't. It's so cute. I'm so glad that we decided to change our plan a little bit today and only come to Quamby. The reviews on Wiki Camps were so good and I thought it's really rare to, you know, get that mm. consistent spiel of just awesome reviews. New owners apparently. There's always one complainer. Yeah, well, of course, that's life, right? But new owners and everybody said what they're doing is fantastic and it's so cute. I just love it. Let's go. Dinner's served from 5.30, which it is. Let's do it. I'm hungry. Excellent. And I don't have to cook. Oh, look, there's still a couple of sides. You literally just back in. A lot of people um, have unhitched uh, because it, it isn't even ground, but it's not too bad. So we're happy. And we are right by the road, but the, the lady upstairs said, look, uh, the road noise is near to nothing. So I'm guessing. Guys! Wow, look at the moon, Jasper. Almost. Yeah, I know. We know when it's a full moon, don't we? Because just the guy is a little bit cuckoo. Yeah, we will. Let's just All right. Have a look at the menu and Let's go. The Check this out. The Quamby. Apparently they have their own ale here. I said to Katie, the Quamby ale, they should call it the quail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go set the quail, thanks, love. I'll, I'll try it. I'll see what she says.
Discovery Centre. It is really the number one tourist attraction here in Karamba. What do you yes. think? It was really good. Yeah, I thought it was fantastic. Okay, you can just come for free, go through the interpretive centre. It's also the place of the visitor information centre. Uh, so you can see the girls on the front desk there, get all the information about what's to do in the Carpentaria region, I guess. And then once you pass through there, it's air conditioned, which is a bonus, but the displays are fantastic. It really is just the life and the history of the mighty Barramundi and how they have done some incredible work up in this part of Queensland to really make sure that the Barramundi not only survives, but thrives. Really cool, wasn't it? Oh, should you talk about the cannons? The cannons, okay, so once we've passed through the Discovery Centre, lots of interpretive signage, lots of interactive things for the kids. A great photo opportunity. Did you get your fishing yeah. rod out? Yeah. Catching the big barra. Fish. Wow. Oh, what a catch, mate. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> you then come out, and if you've paid for the feeder barra tour, you, we actually got a family ticket. Uh, you can get individual tickets for kids and adults. I think adults are maybe $27. It is a 30 minute guided tour. It's only a small group. It was fantastic. You head down the end of the boardwalk out into another uh, main holding facility, which is also air conditioned, undercover. You then uh, led through a walk and talk interactive tour really, where Tanya was an awesome host, wasn't yes. she? Yes. And there was a video that we watched and we learned about all the really cool facts about Barramundi as well. What was your favourite fact? Oh, my favourite fact was that when they're just small, they're boys, but when they grow up, they're girls for the rest of their life. There you go, all right? I'm sure there's plenty of uh, women out there who'd be like, isn't that sound like a great deal? Okay, the cannons. Tell us about the cannons. So, the Barramundi are the cannons. What are we feeding them? <laughs> so, we, I don't know. Squid. Squid, yes. Yum stuff stuffed inside of them. Oh, yes, some special nutritious <gasps> food pellets. And then you dip it in. So, Dad, can you demonstrate it? And then here comes the Barramundi. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And it is like a and cannon. And the goes like everywhere. <laughs> it's so Second, cool. Jasper here is going to demonstrate how to feed a barramundi. But basically you're going to get a bit of squid, you take it by the tentacles, you reach out away from the edge of the tank and just touch that to the surface of the water. Oh. So hold on to it, it'll suck the bait out of your hand. Reach out and just touch it just on the water. Lower it a little bit. Lower it a little bit, it's okay right. darling. You don't want to? You want me to help you? Here we go. No. Here we go. Watch, watch. Watch, Jasper. You watch that. Holy dooly, jeez. <laughs> I may not actually. Here we go. I'm not going to be one. You're not going to be no. one. That was gold. <laughs> they don't have teeth? No, which is a bonus. It still didn't really uh, encourage you to put your hand in though, did you? <laughs> But it is truly an exciting experience and well worth the money, 30 minutes. You get a few guys that actually get your heart pumping. What, what did you think? How were you going? <laughs> His heart was racing, wasn't it? All right, after that, of course, you've seen all these amazing fish. It's back to the cafe. It's a full menu cafe, which is fantastic. Again, air conditioned, beautiful Aboriginal artwork around the walls, some local artists. There's an art gallery talking about the history of the different Aboriginal mobs, tribes through the whole region of Queensland. And then we ordered up some barramundi. I had the barra burgie. What did you yeah. have? I have the barra and chips. It's kids. And so dad offered me to get the brownie. The brownie. Okay. Which I love. Out of the barramundi and the brownie, what was your favourite? Uh, brownie. Yes, that's right. Okay, put it on your list. Must do. And tomorrow we're going to be out there actually trying to catch our own dinner, aren't we? Yes. Well, I'm not going with you. No, Who's that's your right. Mom? Oh, just you. Just me. Okay, it's uh, it's me that's uh, in charge of dinner tomorrow night. Wish me luck. <laughs> Holy, my heart is racing. Feel my heart. <laughs> Imagine how the Barramundi's heart's going. Woo. Yeah. Look at the big guys. Oh, these big guys. This is so cool. All right, here we go. Round two. Cool. Oh, 
Catch up, mate. It's been a little while between catch ups for us, so to get out on a fishing charter, oh, yeah. absolutely awesome. awesome, especially here in Karumba. Hey, and uh, we head out there on Kerry D's, is the name of this charter. It's got a bit of a history, it's the famous one, isn't it? It's the one that everyone talks up. <laughs> so I think we picked the right one. Okay, so we had Captain Ben and his first mate, Eric. Uh, these guys do a great job. It's a half day uh, tour that we actually went out on. Our tip would be to actually get out on the afternoon tour because the wind actually drops off and by, I don't know, an hour and a half in, it was absolutely it was calm pretty, as. Pretty good, and I get seasick in the bath, so it was good. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, that would be the hot tip when you're over here in Carumba. Look, there is loads of different tour <laughs> operators here, but that would be our pick because the haul was amazing. Look, there were plenty of sharks out there as well. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't know how many sharks did I catch, three different ones, there was, I got a bull shark, I got a big hammerhead, there was the hammerhead was awesome. There was a large hammerhead. That was brilliant. There was a school shark. Oh. <laughs> well, might get a new one. <laughs> oh, this way. There we go. Here we go. All right. We've uh, been able to catch plenty of sharks. But we're hoping that we can get something that we can actually put on the barbecue. That's all right. We're uh, looking to try our next location, I think. Is that right, Ben? That's correct. Bronzies. Yeah, there was a tiger shark. shark that someone got on that massive was tiger shark. massive. I didn't have the drain out for that one, unfortunately. Uh, and then probably the biggest haul for everyone was on the blue salmon. And look, if you can get these fresh and hopefully be able to fillet them, which is why Tony's here, because he's going to give me a lesson on filleting these. It's very easy fish. Uh, I, I think there's hardly any bones, if, if any. I'd... I'll show you how to take them out. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, there was also Stingray, someone hooked up, yeah. a couple of grunters, <laughs> look it was all happening, it was, it was really fantastic. The prized Spanish mackerel, unfortunately, bum uh, bow. Still eludes me. That's alright, we will try our luck probably up towards the Cape or on the way down, we'll see how we go because we've got that coming up next. But for now we're going to get these fillers in and then, very fortunately, we've got an air fryer on board now. Oh great. Yes, we're going to have some fish and chips, caramba style, a bit of a vino. And a taste of the day. All right, let's do it. Work time. Well done. Uh, Washing to do today. Mm -hmm. You're going to wash your clothes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Look what's happening. <laughs> well, these are going to be great. Don't use them on white t-shirts, but they're called Bushman's pegs. Wow. So 
You can pop them on your clothes. Never like seen that. them before. And they're just, you just find them on the ground and they're really good in the fire too. So if you haven't got a lot of kindling or you can't find a lot of wood, pop them in there like heat beads. That's amazing. And they don't pop. And there you go, there's a little trumpet for you. <laughs> You're the best <laughs> neighbour we've had. <laughs> That is so good here. Yeah? You're the it. best neighbours we've had. I, I've met a star. Oh, you're gorgeous. <laughs> I'm, I'm just amazed. But this is oh, so hey. cool. What tree are they off, do you know? Oh, God, I can't remember, but the old bushman, um, he did the poetry in that when we were at Leichhardt Lagoon. Yeah. And he said, oh, you'll find some of these around. He said they're bush yes, things. Just but they look like Pac-Man. You can nom, put nom, eyes nom, on them. Pac-Man. Nom, 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 nom. Pac We've made it onto YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you. Uh, look at that. Beautiful. That is that awesome. Is Shall us hold him up, boy? Look at that. There you go. And that really there would be only two fish. So we've got a bit ahead of us. Excellent. Yeah. But wow. yeah. okay. Have fun. <laughs> this Thanks. frozen up, we were told by Skipper Ben, is the only other way to really freeze this particular species of fish, the blue salmon. Yeah. He said, if you can't cryovac it, I probably wouldn't freeze them. Well, you, you best eat them fresh or cryovac and frozen. So That's right. Well, you saw when I was filleting how easily it came off to right. It's quite soft flesh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome. Right, let's keep going. Okay, okay. keep working. Good, good, good. Oh, look at that. Okay, we've done the chippies. Got them set aside, and a good tip that we actually got off Tomo at 80 mile of each. He said, cook your chippies up first, and then set them aside, and then get your fish on, and then right at the last minute, you can put your chips back in, and that way everything comes out hot. So thank you, Tomo. Righto, so here we have our first round. These, as you can see, haven't been crumbed, but these ones are for Tony, gluten-free, correct? and we're using a little olive spray. You don't need, with an air fryer, really any oil, but a good little spray, just like that, perfect. A little bit of salt and pepper or seasoning as you like. Into the air fryer, we think that these kind of, they're not too thick, half centimeter, centimeter at the most. Fillets are gonna take somewhere around seven minutes, I think. Bit of a first trial for us, so hopefully Tony's the guinea pig, and we'll know, <laughs> we'll know whether this works or not. All right, you can give us a thumbs up if it does, Well, Tony. everybody will know whether it works or not as to whether Tony has any more meals with us. All right, let's get this happening. Here we go. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six little fillets. Perfect. Beautiful. Righto. Right. How long did you say? Look, I think let's go for seven. Seven, and, and we can check them halfway. Halfway, we'll give them a little one of those. <laughs> right. How do you feel, Tony? Quietly confident. Crazy kid. Oh, gosh. Oh, what got? do you think, Tony? Oh, uh, come I and mean, have a look, mate. This little bit that's oh, sort of glasses on. Ooh. come off looks good. Smells good. Yeah. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon? Katie, how good does this look? I'm so excited. I know. Nothing better than fresh fish. Hey? The chips are good. <laughs> it's a fresh pony. Uh, and oh, Tony, gluten free version, fantastic. Well done. Air fryer works very well with fish. Awesome. Oh, Hopefully, yeah. this is the first of many of these sorts of nights that. Here, give me a hand. Oh. Don't pay the ferryman until he gets you to the other side. Whoa, whoa. There he is, look. The ferryman, huh?
We are loving this tour with the Ferryman. It is operated by Alison and Glenn. Alison does all the commentary, Glenn drives the boat. He also feeds the wildlife and points out everything from the massive saltwater croc that we saw to the beautiful kites and even a stunning black neck stork while they fed her from the front of the boat. We then cruise down and out to this beautiful sand cay to enjoy another glass of wine. I think it's actually number three. Uh, yes, but luckily none of the guests have to drive anywhere. And we've also enjoyed a wonderful platter of food that's been going around. There's red wine, there's white wine, sparkling wines, beers, soft drinks, even iced coffee. They have everything covered. They do it really well. They have been operating the Ferryman for the last 18 years and it is quite a success. They are regarded as the number one tour operator here in Kurumba and I think that's for good reason because they really look after the attention to detail and they also make sure that everyone's really comfortable on board. There is a bathroom facility on board which is fantastic because not all of the operators have that service and then once you get out to this sand cay you're out here for approximately 45 to 50 minutes to watch the sunset over this part of the Gulf it is absolutely stunning I'm gonna set up the time-lapse hopefully get you some beautiful shots and enjoy this really unique and special location however we were warned don't go too close to the water's edge because we are in croc country. Where's Jasper? Oh, there he is. How good are these? Ground puppies, they're called, and aren't they just the cutest things and actually really practical as well? They're from our mates at Outback Tracks, and they're a great product for securing your mats, your ground sheets for camping. These V2 pegs are stainless steel, means they're really, really tough. They'll go through really hard ground, which is what we've got here. And what's so awesome about them are these rubber caps, toe savers, you know, especially if you've got kids or you love being outdoors in your flip-flops, these guys are gonna stop you hurting your toe on those pegs in your mat. What is awesome is with Father's Day just around the corner, Outback Tracks have let us know they have got 15% off store-wide, which is just awesome, and you can use a feel-good code. Feel Good Dad is the discount code. That promo is running for two weeks through to the 26th of August, so you've got plenty of time to sort out Dad. Have a look on their website. They've got loads of great caravanning, camping products, including, of course, their best-selling rollout awning anchor kit. We love them all. We use them every day in our full-time travels. Got to get some ground puppies though, the kids will love them and it's a good way to get them involved in the setup as well. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Take good idea, Katie. Get the coffee going. <laughs> good morning everyone! Woo good morning! How did you enjoy Karumba, mate? You are sounding a bit excited. Mm. What'd you think? Mm, really you, good. You enjoyed it. What was your favourite part? Um I would say you coming home with a lot of fish. Oh, mate. Dad's a fisherman. Good answer. Hey, yes. hey, what do you reckon of my new, new hat? First time. First time. First time. Finally. Woohoo. Yeah, what do, you, what do you think of my new hat? Like, I need another hat, right? Yeah. Jasper even got one. They're yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty we good might have to hat, do a bit of a hat giveaway. John. We'd have to be giving away Jasper's hat. Would that be okay? <laughs> no, like I mean hats. <laughs> okay. Hats. Let's talk about Karumba. I Karumba. We've had a fantastic mm. week here. Best part of a week. Uh, look, everything revolves around the water. Yes. That basically is is what this is all about. Yes. Uh, there's a couple of different options. You can stay in town, which is a little bit up the river, or you can stay at 
Kurumba Point. Yeah. And that's where we stay. Yeah. It would be our pick. There must be, gosh, all said about five different caravan parks to choose from. You might have a little bit more space in town. It's only a five minute drive between both, but Mm. uh, let's just say there's plenty of options to enjoy sunsets and a few beverages. So, yeah. The choices then would definitely be, yeah. The Point and the Sunset Tavern. That was good. Yeah. And there's a couple of caravan parks at the point. We stayed at the mm. Karumba Point Sunset Caravan Park and it was great. It's uh, tight. Yeah. It's really just a place to park your van so that you can yeah. get out and enjoy the location, isn't it? It is. It really is. I mean, you think when you've got vans and vehicles and then pretty well everybody's got a boat as well. So it definitely is tight. Hot tip though, if you can be unpowered, our site, we think, is probably the best site. 149D. D, yes, 149D, tucked over in the far back corner. That was good. It was great. Yeah, as far as that's right, your choice, then there you go. Try and, yeah. not, try and pick that one if yeah. you can. Yeah, but, it, I mean, at the height of the season, I think you'd find the same thing in all the caravan parks here. It is busy. People are here for good reason. The sun is shining. It is 30 degrees in the middle of winter. The Look, fish are biting. Yes. There must be, oh, I don't know how much money must go through this place. Just Oh, each season. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, everything is, yeah. is booked out, you know, so you've got to... Uh, if you've got a few days, you, you'll get on to a tour, but yeah. people really come here and they do all the tours. So there's obviously the Barra Discovery Centre, which we really yeah. enjoyed, didn't we? Yeah. Still got all your fingers, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, and then in town, the reason why you'd probably stay in town is that you'd want to be closer to, I mean, there's a there's a pub called The Animal Bar. Ooh. Sounds bit interesting. Bit of a local uh, hangout. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> there is the pharmacy. Uh, there's a couple of mini marts. There's a fuel station. Mm-hmm. Your services. Yeah, exactly. Whereas yeah. out on the point, uh, you have got the world famous Ashes oh, Seafood. Fish and chips. Yeah, the fish yeah. and chips, which uh, we did enjoy for lunch. Yeah, very good. And then the Sunset Point is is real. It is the pick of the location. The tavern. Yeah. yeah the, the tavern. Sorry. And that was great. And the food was great. And it was just mm. really chilled, relaxed vibe, wasn't it? Just lovely to go and sit yeah. and watch the sunset, run into some fellow travellers who watch oh. the show, which is awesome. So I've had yeah. more drinks this week than we've had in a while because <laughs> we've, we've so been good. a little bit more remote and not yeah. staying in caravan parks. You know, you don't, I guess, get to meet so many people. Yeah. But there's, uh, yeah, there's been a few too many vinos this week, I think. That's good. It's great. And, I mean, the wildlife here is, is spectacular, even at the back of the caravan park. Kangaroos. While Katie's saying this, I'm looking ahead and watching wallaby after wallaby bouncing around and across the road. Yeah. So you do have to stick to the, you know, if you stick on that 50 speed limit, which is pretty well the speed limit around this whole point, yeah. uh, you, you're not going to hit anything. So just yeah. be aware of that. That's right. Oh, the, the bird wildlife. life is yeah. stunning. Yeah, Crocs. the wetlands. Oh, yes. Mm. So good. I mean, it, good yeah. reminder. Yeah, it is. And it's easy to forget when you're in a location like this, yeah. you know, exactly where you are and what's out mm. there. But even the amount of sharks that you guys pulled in on the boat. Look, it, it, it has been a real highlight of our travel around Oz. Uh, I think if you could find your, your perfect little block up here and make it your winter escape, yeah, that'd be the pick. Yeah, awesome. All right, Cobalt Gorge, that is our yes. next stop. We won't talk about it now. We'll just get on the road. It is nice and early, 8 o'clock. So I'm excited about this one. We've Everything got 450 I've seen clicks, and the last 50 yeah, or so kilometres are... Dirt road, corrugated, so yes. we've uh, got to get a move. Yeah, awesome. All happy? Right. Adventure time. All right, mate, let's do it. What does my dad say? Are you happy? Mm-hmm. Let your face know about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails.
nice she's done this before. Oh, Jasper, enjoying the view. <laughs> Don't take the berry there! Until he gets you to the other side, to the sand cave, right? <laughs> Love it, what a great tour. How good has this been, Jan? It's pretty good? Awesome, yeah. Amazing. Very nice. Amazing. Oi. Mate, best icy pole ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right before lunch. Hope mum won't get upset. Here we go. Oh, there you go. See, you can find your Starlink even in a garden. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I guess you've got to get a clear light assigned to Elon Musk's satellites, don't you? Maybe it's from those people over there, Jasper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got our squid. We've got plenty of barramundi. Who will be the lucky barra? Here we go. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. I've done that session. Up.